Well, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing fine. I just want to bring you a few words today to encourage you, to inspire you, to instruct you, so that you can live a life that God wants you to live through His Son, Jesus Christ. Well, you know that you got to put your faith that. You got to put your faith in Jesus. You got to put your faith in Jesus. But not only do you got to put your faith in Jesus, you got to love Jesus. See, you got to love Jesus. When you really want to grow in Jesus, you got to love Jesus more than you love yourself. Because if you don't love Jesus more than you love yourself, you will find yourself doing what you want to do instead of what Jesus what you instead of what Jesus would want you to do. And if you find yourself doing what you want to do, you are building on your own foundation. But when you are doing what Jesus wants you to do, then you are then you are building on Jesus' foundation. Understand that and grab a hold to it. But today I got to give God some honor, so I got to say thank you, God. I got to give Jesus some honor. I got to say I love you, Jesus. And I got to thank him for the presence of the Holy Spirit that now dwells in us. But because of the Spirit that's in us, we have a Father and the Son living inside of us. And all I can do is say thank you, Jesus, for making that happen. Thank you, Jesus, for shedding that blood on that cross. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for being raised from the dead. Thank you, Jesus, that I am a new person in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that I got a new hope and I got a new faith. All because of you, Jesus. And all I can do is say, thank you, Jesus. And you that really believe in Jesus, or you that are followers of Jesus, you got to say, thank you, Jesus, for all he done for you. Because he had done wonderful things for you in the name of Jesus. But this message that I want to bring to you got to deal with love. It's got to deal with love. But this love that I want to talk about today is not so much a love about loving other people, which you will automatically do once you understand this love that I'm talking about. Because these words say love one another. He said, he said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And he said, love thy neighbors as thyself. And that's something we got to do. So we got to live in love. But today I want to I wanna express something to you that's dealing with a love about Jesus. See, we may want to try to figure out how to love Jesus. Because I know. I know you want to love Jesus. I know I love Jesus emotionally. I know I got a desire love for Jesus. But Jesus got a love that's deeper than that. He want to act a love. See, you got to love Jesus in action. You can't just go around talking about, I love you, Jesus. And that there, there's no action to go with him. So you want to know how to love Jesus. I'm going to have to come out of John 14 for you for that on how to love Jesus. But before I go there, I got a few things I wrote that I would like to express to you. It said, how to love Jesus is a question we all should ask ourselves. It's a question we should ask ourselves. The reason why you should ask yourself that question because that will make you search the word on how to love him. And then you will learn how to love him. It will show you how to love him. Which is something that I'm going to do a little bit today. That you should do on how to love Jesus. Because you have to understand. Because loving Jesus will determine what, what you will do or don't do. With the things that pertain to Jesus. With the things that pertain to Jesus. So when you love in Jesus, it will determine if you're going to do what Jesus say. But if you reject in Jesus, we already know that you ain't going to do what Jesus say. 
But if you agree with Jesus, you can say you are loving Jesus and you're going to do what Jesus say. And that's what Jesus called loving him. I would explain that to you in the first. That's what Jesus called loving him because he did say, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So when he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. He is just telling you, you must do my words. You must do my words. Now that you are a follower of me, I'm not talking about salvation, but now that you are a follower of Jesus Christ and you love Jesus Christ, you're going to do the will of Jesus Christ. That means you're going to keep the commandments of Jesus Christ. That means you're going to do what the word of Jesus said do, which is the word of the Father. Do you understand what I'm saying? So today you need to ask yourself how to love Jesus, or you may ask yourself, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Do the things that I do show that I love Jesus? Do I have Jesus first in my life? Do I deny myself, pick up the cross, and do what Jesus said, regardless to what I want to do, regardless to what my friends want me to do, my mother, my father, my sister, or brother, are all that is irrelevant if you want to love Jesus because you got to do what Jesus wants you to do. And when you're doing what Jesus wants you to do, you are loving Jesus. You are loving Jesus. But if you're not doing what Jesus wants you to do, then you're not loving Jesus. You're hating on Jesus. <laughs> you're rejecting Jesus. So you're not in agreement with Jesus, and you can't be in agreement with Jesus unless you love Jesus. Because when you love Jesus, no. Because when you love Jesus, that means you want to do what Jesus tell you to do. That means you want to be obedient to the word of God that comes through Jesus Christ. See, loving Jesus will help you line your life up with Jesus. See, when you're loving Jesus, it will help you line your life up with Jesus. With Jesus, as well as obey Jesus. As well as obey the words of Jesus. If you are truly a follower of Jesus. If you really are a truer follower of Jesus. See, in order to be a true follower of Jesus, you got to hear this now. But in order to be a true follower of Jesus, you got to love Jesus. You got to love Jesus. Then when you love Jesus, ooh, hear me out. But when you love Jesus, then you want to live to please Jesus. And Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my words. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my words. That's all he said. It's an action thing. It's not just a verbal thing. Actions got to go with these words. You understand? Actions got to go with these words. Actions got to go with these words. And how to love Jesus, I'm going to come out of John 14. I got some verses. That I'm going to come out of John 14 to show you how to love Jesus. You know, just to show you how to love Jesus. It's going to be simple. It's going to be plain. Because if you do the word of Jesus, I mean, you're going to do everything that's in the new covenant. That pertains to following Jesus. Whether it's fasting, praying, turning the other cheek. <laughs> No gospel, no backbiting, no lying, no cheating, no stealing. Because you love Jesus, you're going to do the will of the Father. Because the words that Jesus speaks are God's word. So the words that we get out of here comes from the Father in heaven, who is our almighty God. But if you love Jesus, that means you're going to obey the word of God. If you love Jesus. So that means if you love Jesus, that means you have to come into agreement with Jesus. If you don't be in agreement with Jesus, you are revealing you don't love Jesus. 
So if you don't come into agreement with Jesus, and if you don't follow Jesus' words and Jesus' teaching, then you're not showing your love for Jesus. That's deep. That's deep because uh, because the reason why I say it's deep, because a lot of people say, because I'm in the grace of God, I can do whatever I want to do. But it don't work like that. When you're in the grace of God, it will help you do what Jesus said do. It will help you do what God says do. When you're in the grace of God, you receive the power of the Holy Spirit to work in your life so that you can do what they said do. When you're in the grace of God, then you love in Jesus. You understand me? Because of you love in Jesus, God shower you with his grace, and his grace help you maintain your love with Jesus so that you can do what's in the word. You don't do what you do to get saved. You do what you do because you are saved. You do what you do because you are a follower of Jesus. Understand this. I'm not talking about obedience for salvation. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ through faith. But once you are truly saved, you got to understand, once you are truly saved, you repent. And when you repent, that means you turn around and quit doing what you're doing. Instead of rejecting Jesus, you're loving Jesus. When you're loving Jesus, you're doing the will of Jesus. Do you understand me? Then you're doing the will of Jesus. That's why Jesus can tell you, believers or you followers of Jesus, he can tell you, if you love me, keep my commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my word. And when he said, keep my words, he said, live by my word. He said, if you love me, but he understand one thing. Jesus is letting you know that what I'm asking you to do, you cannot do this unless you love me. So today I got to ask you, do you love Jesus? And if you love Jesus, how is you showing Jesus that you love him? And if you ain't showing him by keeping his word, then you're not showing him love understand me do you want to show jesus love if you want to show jesus love you got to do the word of god and it ain't about works to put salvation salvation come by faith in jesus christ but when that salvation truly come that means deliverance take place and when deliverance really come then you start wanting to do what jesus wants you to do because you are empowered by the Holy Spirit. And when you're doing what Jesus wants you to do, oh, let, oh, let me explain this to you. And when you're doing what Jesus wants you to do, then you will find yourself loving Jesus. And you want to know why you're going to find yourself loving Jesus? Because you're going to see the rewards you get from loving Jesus when you're doing what Jesus tell you to do. See, when you're doing what Jesus tell you to do, then you will see your blessings. They be running in, peel over, running over all these blessings just coming at you why because you're loving jesus jesus said if you love me keeps my commandments and because you're keeping his commandments you are receiving the blessings that comes from keeping his commandments just by loving jesus in words see uh go with me to first john three eighteen, right quick it's about first that uh I want to read to you. I want you to grab a hold to this because this is very important to me. And I believe it's very important to you. First John 3, 18. And it says in first John 3 and 18, it says, my little children, let us not love in words. Understand that he said, let us not love in words. Neither in tongue. He said, let us not love in words or either in tongue. So when he talking about let us not love in words or either in tongue, he talking about verbally. He talking about verbally. Don't just go around telling me you love me. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love your word, God. I love everything that pertains to you, God. And all you doing is expressing it with your mouth. It's nowhere near your heart. It's not nowhere close to your heart. All you're doing is blowing it out your mouth. But you're saying, I love you. But, but you know what? But, uh, but, but, but uh, John, in this letter, he's telling us, that ain't the way it go. You can't love with your mouth. 
You can't love with your mouth. You got to love with your heart. Because when you love with your heart, this is what happens. This is what happens when you love with your heart. But in deed and in truth. So he said love in deed. So when you see deed, you see, and if you love me, keep my commandments. You see, if you love me, keep my words. So that means you're going to line your life up with the word of God that comes through Jesus Christ and the apostles and everybody else. You're going to line your life up with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're going to love him indeed. That's why he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my word. So he said, if you love me, there's got to be actions to show that you love me by what you do that I ask you to do. Do you get it? He said, if you love me, keep my word. That's where would the deed come in. And then he said, love me in truth. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Then he said, love me in truth. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So in order to love me and keep my commandments, that means you got to have the deeds. But not only do you got to have the deeds, oh, thank you, Jesus. But you got to have the truth. And the truth is sincerity. Truth is being real with them. Truth is being sound. Truth is being faithful, trustworthy. Truth, he said, love me in truth and deed in truth. So don't let your love be fake. Don't let your love be hypocritical. Let your love be sincere. Thank you, Jesus. So he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So when you love him and you serious about loving him, oh, See, when you love him and you serious, understand this, and you sincere, and you serious about loving him, these will follow. These will follow if you sincere with your love for Jesus. That's why Jesus can tell them, if you love me, keep my commandments. Because by you keeping my commandments, you showing me that you sincerely love me. And, you, and, and by you doing this, you showing me in your deeds that you are real. Because you are sincere with your love for me. And because your love is sincere, your actions will follow and you will keep my commandments. And this is not about getting saved. I'm talking to people that are saved or proclaim that they are saved. Baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, whatever you want to say, say. It doesn't make me no different because it's only me one thing. Are you saved? And if you are saved and you love Jesus, and if you are saved and you love Jesus, that means you're going to do what Jesus say. Regardless if you say I'm baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues and blessed and highly favored, all that stuff. All them are good slow low. Logans, slogans, Logans, whatever you want to call them. But the truth to the matter is, you don't need a slogan if you are truly saved because you will be the slogan. Because they will see it that you love Jesus by what you do. They will see that you are sincere with Jesus by what you do. If you love me, understand this. It got me stuck on this one verse. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Is that hard to do? He said, keep my commandments. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't cheat. Don't be disrespectful. Don't fornicate. Don't gospel. Don't backbite. All these things. Don't be out here scheming on people. Don't be out here doing evil deeds. Be doing the righteous deed. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do you understand me? He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Don't be a backbiter. Don't be a drunkard. Don't be a get higher. If you love me, keep my commandments. Don't be a falsifier. Don't be a false prophet. Be real. Be real. Be real. He said, if you love me, live a righteous, right, a, a righteous life. He said, if you love me, live a righteous life, not an unrighteous life. That is his commandment. He said, if you love me, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, if you love me, keep my words. 
Y'all gonna have to go back and read John 14. I'll give you the verses to him because he done took me another way. But he said, if you love me, keep my words. But he said, when you keep my word because you love me, don't love me in words. Don't love me with your mouth. He said, love me with your actions. Then he said, love me with truth. He said, love me with your deeds. And the deeds got to do with what you do. He said, love me in deeds and in truth. So he said, when you love me, be sincere with me. So how to love Jesus? First thing you got to understand, you got to be sincere with Jesus in order to love Jesus. And when you're sincere with Jesus, you are showing your love to Jesus. And then because of your sincerity, you will do what he say. So therefore, if your deeds will line up with Jesus, because you love Jesus sincerely, and since you love him sincerely, your deeds will follow so he can tell you, he can tell him, if you love me, keep my commandments in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. I'm going to read these verses in John 14 that I wanted to read to you. I want to get them across to you right quick. You can always go back and read them again yourself about if you love Jesus. Because when you're loving Jesus, I want you to understand that there's other things that come with it. That's why I'm going to John 14 right quick. And these verses deal with on how to love Jesus still. I just try to give you a little breakdown. He said, turn the other cheek. <laughs> how to love Jesus. He said, overcome evil. We're good. That's how you love Jesus. Trust God because vengeance is mine, said the world. That's how you love Jesus. He said, hate what is evil and love what is good. That's how you love Jesus. He said, renew your mind in the word of God. That's how you love Jesus. He said, do not be conformed to this world, but be your transformed. That's how you love Jesus. He said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. You got to believe in that and that's how you love Jesus. I am more than a conquer in Christ Jesus. You got to believe that and you got to act on it. That's how you love Jesus. He said, if you love me keep my commandments so John 14 verse 15 is what I'm going to read first he said if you love me keep my commandments so if you love Jesus keep his commandments that mean to keep his words and that mean to keep his words then jump down to John 14 21 and it says uh, he that has my commandments and keeps them or do them he it is that love me. Action. You got to put it in action. Them is the one that love him is the one that do his will. The one that obey Jesus. The one that do what Jesus want him to do. Them the ones that love him. He said, and keep them. He is that, that, that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved of my father. And he said, because you love me. Understand this. He said, because you love me, my father love you also. So if you want God love. So if you want God love, you got to love Jesus first. When you love Jesus, and then you get God's love. When you love Jesus, and then you get God's love. Understand that. And, and he that loves me should be loved of my father. And I will love him. And then Jesus said, you love me, I love you. You love me, I love you. You can go back and read this for yourself. I'm just shoot, kind of shoot through it because of time. You love Jesus, I love you. And will manifest myself to him. And he said, because you love me, then my father love you, then I love you. And because of all that, he said, I will reveal myself to you. So if you want to get a revelation from Jesus today, if you really want to get a revelation from Jesus, you got to love Jesus. You got to love Jesus. You, it's that simple. You got to love Jesus. And when you love Jesus, that means you will do what he tell you to do. And when you do what he tell you to do, guess what? He will reveal himself to you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Then 24 says, uh, now then uh, 23 then 23 says, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. 
He said it just as simple and plain. He said, if a person loved me, he will keep my word. That means he will do his words. That means he will be obedient to the word. And my father will love him. And we will come on to him. And he said, we will come on to him and make our abode with him. Or we will make our home with him. Or we will make our home with him. He said, we will make our home with him. But this is how it happened. If a man loved Jesus and keep his word, keep Jesus' word, then the Father God will love him and will come on to him and we will come on to him and we will come to him and make our abode with him and make our home with him and he and make our home with him. See, you want God to live with you, you got to love Jesus. And when you love Jesus, God and Jesus will come and stay with you. And then it goes on to say, he that loves me not, he that loves me not, keep is not my saying. So understand that, that's deep. He said, the people that do not love him will not keep his commandments. Ooh. He said, the people that do not love him will not keep his commandments. But if you love him, you will keep his commandments. And that means you will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That means you will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness if you love Jesus. But if you don't love Jesus, you will not seek ye first the kingdom of God and righteousness. You will come up with all kind of traditions and justifications on the things that you do. Because you will not be loving him, you will be loving yourself. So you want to do things your way, but when you love Jesus, but when you love, truly love Jesus, then you will do things Jesus' way. And I'm going to tell you something about that. And when you do things Jesus' way, that's when you start getting your rewards from heaven. That's when you start getting your rewards from God. Do you want to be blessed today? I'm going to cut this message short, but I'm... Do you want to be blessed today? I got one other thing to tell you, though. When you love Jesus, then the comforter of the Holy Spirit will come and live in you. The comforter of the Holy Spirit will teach you all about Jesus. The comforter of the Holy Spirit will lift you up when you're down. The comforter of the Holy Spirit will encourage you. The Holy Spirit will strengthen you. When you love Jesus, they will come and live with you. And how do they live with you? Through the power of the Holy Spirit that now dwell in you and you will have the power of God inside of you and he said uh, we will never leave you nor forsake you in the name of Jesus you are blessed more than you will ever know you are blessed more than you will ever see but you want the blessings that comes from Jesus you said if you love me you will keep my commandment and one of my commandments love the Lord our God with all our heart with all our soul with all our mind, with all our might, and love thy neighbor as thyself. Do you love Jesus today? Do you love Jesus today? That's the question we all need to ask ourselves. Do you love Jesus today? I told you how you can love Jesus, but now you need to ask yourself, do you love Jesus? And if you don't know the answer, then read what I just gave you. Listen to this video again and let it come alive to you because it's simple. If you love Jesus, you're going to keep his commandments. If you love Jesus, you ain't going to love him with your mouth. You're going to love him with deeds and truth and sincerity. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Do you love Jesus today? Do you love Jesus today? I just gave you a message on how to love Jesus. Go back over it. Read the verses that I give you. These are the verses that I'm going to give you. Read uh, 1 John 3.18. And that's got to do with love and action, love and deed. And then you read John 14, 15, 21, 23, and 24. And then you read John 14, 26, 16 through 21. 
And see what happened when you love Jesus. You get the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit kind of dwells in you when you love Jesus. When you love Jesus and keep his commandments. When you love Jesus and keep his words. When you love Jesus and live by his word. That's what it means. Keep my commandments. Live by my commandments. Live by my word. You understand? Let my words be your let my words be your guide. You understand? When you love Jesus. So if you don't know how to love Jesus, I'll make it real simple one more time and I'm gonna be done. <clears throat> If you really want to know how to love Jesus, keep his commandments and keep his word. Be obedient to the word of God that comes through his son, Jesus Christ, and that comes through the power of the Holy Spirit. Be obedient to the word. Once you're obedient to the word, and then you are loving Jesus. And not only are you loving Jesus, then the Father is loving you, and you're also loving God. Understand that. Be a blessing to God. Be a blessing to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Oh, I hope this message touched you. I hope it moves you in the name of Jesus. And may God continue to bless you, lead you, and guide you. And I want you to know that God love you, Jesus love you, and I love you. And be blessed always.